Um, hello everyone. Welcome to our preschool uh, Amplify TV World 1 for EL229 at Brighton University. This is what we did with my friend Dion. Basically, this is the active field for part of the assignment where we've got the open. And uh, as you can see, this is a second order because we've got two active components over there, which is our capacitor C3 and capacitor C5. Now, we had to scale it um, instead of having 1 ohm resistors for R1 and R4, we used 10 kilo ohm for R1 and R4 respectively. Now, since this one was half of this one, we therefore had 5 kilo ohm for R5. So we'll basically be sending in some input signal, V in, of 50 millivolts a maximum, and then we expect some output at our um, pin number 6 of our LM741 chip, which is our operational amplifier. Now looking through our circuit over here, you can see that we've got these resistors that we have set up here. I, I know it's a little bit messy, but <laughs> yeah, bear with us. So, this is the ground as you can see there, and this is the po positive rail, and this is the negative rail. Um, this is where the input signal is coming from, from the signal generator. As you can see there, we're having a 200 hertz being sent through into our active filter circuit. So it is going to be filtered and it's going to go through an amplification of some sort through the amplifier. And in this case, we've got the amplification of uh, minus one, so it's unit gain amplification. So I'm going to do some tests. We have 200 hertz, as you can see. This is our input field, uh, uh, input signal, and this is our output signal. As you can see, they're almost equivalent at the amplitude, making it proper. And as well, you can see that they are tipped out of phase. They are anti-phase to each other, that is 180 out of phase. And that's the last one there. So, um, at 200 hertz, we've got a clear signal with a unit gain as we expected, and indeed anti-phase as we expected. Now we're going to increase to 500 hertz. Yes, I forgot to point out that this is a low pass filter, so it is allowing um, low frequency components and then is this And indeed the break frequency is uh, 1 kilohertz, so as we can see right now we are just below that, so as it, is, as it is a low pass filter, it is going to allow those signals to pass through unattenuated. And then we are going to move on now to our back frequency. So this is one kilo hertz, and you can see that the output signal is starting to be smaller than the input signal. So with our output signal there at um, you know at um, well, less than 50 millivolts of what we did, it's actually 36 here. So it has dropped off, and we would imagine that would be there about our minus 3 dB point for our um, active filter. And um, um, we're just going to go above that just to, to see what is going to happen. So I'm going to send this to uh, 2 kilohertz. And as you can see, at 2 kilohertz, we've got great attenuation of our output signal there. And that um, shows that it's working pretty well. And as, as we expected, our frequency, you know, the break frequency is between 1000 to 2, 2K uh, or hertz. Okay, then. I'll just take this to a 5 kilohertz now. And as you can see, we barely have anything at all now, you know, um, uh, uh, output signal there. So. Yeah, it's pretty much working very well as expected and um, 